Good morning. We are in lovely, sunny, warm Laurel, Mississippi. We're sort of in the middle of the state right now. We are definitely in like the OG Confederate South. We are not in the middle South anymore. There's a lot of Confederate flags. There's a lot of historical <laughs> stuff down here. And um, it really, you know, there's so many movies have been filmed down here um, about like the 1800s and the first half of the 20th century. You really get the feeling when you're rolling through these small towns that you're on one of these movie sets. Also, also for people who have HBO, otherwise known as QTV. Um, we are getting near True Blood territory. Uh, we're hoping, what is, Brian, what is the name of the town where they live? Bon Temps. Bon Temps, Louisiana. Um, I hate to break everybody's, uh, everybody's fantasy, but the show is actually filmed in Calabasas and Malibu. Thanks, Jim. And they hang moss from the trees. Um, but if we go through that town, we are going to find Vampire Bill, we're going to wake him up, and we're going to put him on a bike. Um, Parachi knows where he lives. So um, I'm going to step out of the frame right now and have everybody here introduce themselves and say where they're from so you can get an idea of sort of the incredible force we have here with us this week. I'm Brad Wood from Los Angeles, California. Joss Moore from Portland, Oregon. Uh, Andy Hampston from New Orleans, Armenia. Brian Pettit, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. John Bennett from Seattle, Armenia. <laughs> Tim Mars from uh, California. Michael Alt Altadena, California. Brian Yates from Los Angeles, Armenia. <laughs> I'm Igor, no fix the board. <laughs> Nick Schwartz from Houston, Texas. Adam Weber, Scottsdale, Arizona. Raj Gavrikian, Armenia. <laughs> Armenia, Armenia? From Armenia? <laughs> Alex Tavia from Los Angeles, Armenia. Dave Lawrence from Pearland, Texas. Armenia. Now, this dude has the thickest accent of all the Armenians here. So <laughs> and he's the softest of heart. But can you tell us where the hell is Armenia? I hear all this stuff about Armenian chicken, Armenian kebabs, the food. Easy for you guys to get Armenia would be just go to Los Angeles and find a city right between a Burbank and Pasadena. <laughs> right over there. Well, I thought that's Glendale, dude. That's what you, you call our man. Over, right? over. <laughs> All right, so um, as you can tell, none of us get along. We're having a terrible time out here. Um, we have serious business to get into right now, which we do every day at this time. We have two dedications um, today for, for our ride. Uh, this is our second last ride. We're, we're feeling really good about the next 100 miles. 230 miles that lay in front of us. We're either hoping that we don't hit dirt, clay, or gravel, or we're all looking forward to it. I'm not mm -hmm. really sure. Uh, personally, I could do without it. Um, our first dedication today is to Austin Munoz, who was diagnosed with cancer on July 13 of this year, so just about four months ago. Um, he's a junior at Moore Park High School. Moore Park is a suburb of LA, and um, the Mesa Verde Middle School in Moore Park is fundraising for Pavlov all this month. It's pretty darn incredible. Like I, when I was in junior high school, we weren't fundraising for anything, you know? And I think that's an incredible thing. Uh, one of the teachers at Moore Park Middle School um, shared Austin's story with us. So that's, that's the connection from Austin to us. Um, Austin's in treatment now. And he could use a shout out. So, can we, um, in fact, can we give all the kids at Mesa Verde Middle School and Moore Park High School like a giant shout out? What are we going to say? Armenia. Why don't we say, um, go Austin? Yeah, yeah, can yeah. we do? Yeah, go Austin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Let's go. Oh. Now, uh, our next dedication is to a boy from Racine, Wisconsin, named Seamus. Brian Pettit is from Racine, Wisconsin. My hometown. It's his hometown. Yep. Home of Johnson Wax. Home of Johnson from Wax, Case, and uh, a beautiful lighthouse. And also, don't forget Golden Books. Remember all the remember the yeah. books we all used to read when yeah. we were kids oh, with the yeah. gold spine? Sorry. Harach, I know, <laughs> no, I sorry. Did, so it's okay. Um that used to be there, but yes. until they got bought out by somebody. So Seamus is um, a family friend 
of the Pettits, of Brian's sister who still lives in Racine. Uh, he's 10 years old and he is going through treatment for Ewing sarcoma at uh, Children's Hospital uh, of Wisconsin in Milwaukee, which was our first hospital visit. It's really where this ride started this year. Uh, we had a great time there hanging with kids. Josh Rifkin from Songs for Kids was there playing crazy songs for all the kids and their parents on his acoustic guitar. We're going to see him again in New Orleans tomorrow. Um, uh, Seamus loves to draw and read books, and the last time I checked, that's what all kids who are 10 years old love to do uh, in some way. Um, he loves trains, and he's planning on putting train tracks throughout his entire house. Has anybody yes. did anybody here do that when they were younger? Uh -huh. Crazy train stuff? <laughs> Anybody's kids into trains right now? Uh -huh. It's pretty, we've, every day we probably cross 50 train tracks, so Seamus, Trust us, we're going to stop today and take some photos of some super, super long tracks. train tracks and we're going to email them to you. Um, so, um, Seamus is also a gifted artist and he's had paintings and drawings go on sale at a gallery in Racine. So, just two incredible kids, Seamus and Austin. We're going to ride for you guys today. We're going to ride for your parents, your siblings, your classes, your communities. Um, thanks to the kids at Mesa Verde uh, Middle School for fundraising with us uh, as we ride from Milwaukee to New Orleans. We'll see you guys later. Let's give him a go, Seamus. Go! Oh,